Hey yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy here, and today we are going to be talking about why... Wait, what? <laughs> GV Gangster... No, okay, uh, we're going to be talking about why you shouldn't be getting the most expensive cars in Greenville. Now, before this video starts guys, I want to let you guys know that I have a Roblox group, a Roblox group if you're interested, and I have a Discord group if you want to join, but without further ado, let's just get into why you shouldn't be getting the most expensive cars in Greenville. So let's get to the dealership here, and um, I'm going to point out a few things. So the first thing I'm going to point out is if you go to the Serial T, which is $200,000, keep that number in mind, it goes 221 miles per hour. Now if I were to go higher up on the list, and let's go to the $550,000 Century Pinnacle, it only goes 201. Yeah, so buying the most expensive cars really don't mean much, because... Let's say I wanted the Pagani, no, not the Pagani, yeah, the Pagani Astro, right? Uh, the Bugatti goes 260. It goes way faster than the Pagani. I don't know, I mean, if you guys really wanted the most expensive car with, like, no speed, I mean, these, like, you could find cars on this list that go faster for cheaper, and then some of these more expensive cars. If I were to click on the Falcon Heritage here, it goes 227. You probably could go down the list and maybe find a car that goes 200, 200 billion. You know what I mean? It, there's so many other options on this list that probably go faster than some of these higher cars on the list. Now, another reason why you sh shouldn't be getting the most expensive cars, if, if you're one of these guys who go up to people and say, do you like my car? No one's gonna really care if you buy the most expensive car in the game um, No one's gonna really care if I would go here and buy this five million dollar car And I were to go around flexing it to people no one will care If you're gonna be one of those guys who gets a car to try to flex no one will care I mean maybe the one or two guys in the back would be like hey, that's a nice car. But that'd be it but um, yeah, so the most expensive cars in these games and well in this game aren't really the best compared to some of the other cars down the list i mean i could probably find a way faster car for way cheaper if i were to get the nismo version of the gtr here 203 miles an hour already kind of goes faster than the century pinnacle which goes 100 201 and you're getting the gtr for a little a little cheaper you could always just find another car always cheaper than the car you want to purchase that will have a decent or better top speed now it's not always about speed it's always about looks as well majority of the cars in the top personally i don't have a i don't really like the looks of i mean that's just me maybe if they had a chiron to the top of the list so or, i mean the most expensive cars and maybe i just buy it for the pure looks of the chiron but hey i mean it's all at the end of the day it's just personal preference if you just want a nice looking car if you just want a car in general that's just expensive because you want it it's just all up to you, but uh, I hope you guys did enjoy today's why you shouldn't be getting the most expensive cars in the game uh, video. And if you did like it, then leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what car, what game, what thing I should do. And I will see you guys in another video. Good. Bye.